Hey everybody, welcome to this new episode of MSI Procast. Today we're going to talk about a feature on MSI Intel motherboards that few people know about. It's called M.2 Genie. So speed freaks, listen up, it's going to be interesting. So just a bit of background here, M.2 Genie is a feature that comes with several MSI motherboards for the Intel platform. This feature will not only work on the X299 SLI Plus board on this system, but also for your Z170, Z270, and Z370 motherboard. And to demonstrate the MSI M.2 Genie function, we'll be upgrading our video editing rig that we built recently. You can catch up on this video build right here on this channel. So what is M.2 Genie you ask? Well it's simple. M.2 Genie boils down to MSI's answer to simplified RAID array setup. So typically, setting up your M.2 RAID array in the BIOS is a very painful 16-step process. It literally takes forever to set up. So we've been working very hard here on making this as much of a walk in the park as possible. For this video, we'll be using two identical M.2 SSD drives. Also, keep in mind that setting up such an array will require you to freshly reinstall Windows and thus clear up all the funky data you might have on your drives. That being said, this setup is a pretty straightforward process. Install each drive in the available M.2 slots of your motherboard. This MSI X299 SLI Plus board even has an M.2 shield, a unique thermal solution to lower the M.2 SSD temperature. Be sure to use it. Now let's head over to the BIOS to set up the array with MSI M.2 Genie. Pro tip, before doing anything, make sure you're running the latest BIOS. MSI regularly releases updates to fix bugs and improve performance. The whole point about M.2 Genie is to simplify the process of setting up array to array. Here are the steps. One, in the BIOS, immediately head over to the lower right corner to activate the M.2 Genie function. Two, press F10 then to save the new BIOS settings and restart. Three, on reboot, head back to the BIOS and verify in the advanced settings to Intel Rapid Storage Technology that your array has been created properly. Four, over here you can even customize the volume name. And more importantly, select which one of the drives will be part of the array. Five, that's it for the BIOS. Now you're left with the installation of Windows on your PC and you are done. So that's it. Simple, right? To verify the gain of performance, we ran some simple before and after tests. And here are the results. Our single M.2 SSD drive created a maximum of 1581 megabits per second sequential read and 564 megabits per second write. For our M.2 Genie RAID array, the performance went up by a whopping 77%. 2806 megabits per second read and 1146 megabits per second write. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more guides like this one. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.